Meanwhile, the administration continues to hemorrhage staffers, the latest being Hope Hicks, White House communication director and girl who started that mean rumour about you in high school. <laughs> and Hicks leaving is actually a big deal for Trump. With her gone, this leaves a stunning lack of confidence in the president's inner circle. Dan Scavino, the social media director here, President Trump's former golf caddy, is the last man standing from the original team of his campaign. Okay. So, let's all admit, that is a suspicious photo. But, to be fair, we looked for non-suspicious photos of Dan Scavino, and we couldn't find any. There's this one where he's looking at porn at work suspicious. There's this one where he's, you didn't see anything, and if you say a word, I'll break your fucking neck, suspicious. <laughs> and there's my absolute favourite, the, oh, no, I just realised I left my Craigslist friend in the punishment box, suspicious. <laughs> he's a suspicious-looking guy, that's all I'm saying. Now, clearly not everyone has left. There is, of course, still Jared Kushner, America's busiest business boy. <laughs> although, although Jared may actually have had the worst week of all, starting with this. President Trump's son-in-law and senior advisor Jared Kushner no longer has access to top secret material. Kushner's clearance level was downgraded from top secret to secret. Even the White House calligrapher now has a higher level of clearance than Kushner now does. Wow, that is humiliating. Although it does kind of make sense that a calligrapher has to be good at keeping secrets. For example, they have to keep the secret that there is a font in Microsoft Word that does their entire fucking job. <laughs> But what's crazy is, Kushner has reportedly been on interim security clearance ever since he joined the right, White House, and that is for pretty good reasons. Jared Kushner, it's not just has a complicated business. He had to change his federal disclosure forms multiple times because he, quote, inadvertently omitted millions of dollars in assets and forgot to include more than 100 foreign contacts. So, in other words, Kushner screwed up some important paperwork, keeps changing his personal wealth, and casually overlooked hundreds of foreigners. He truly is his father-in-law's son. <laughs> the only real difference is one of them has electrifying sexual chemistry with Ivanka Trump, and the other is Jared Kushner. <laughs> now, now, Jared's, Jared's security issue may affect his ability to take an active role in international relations. Although, going by another story that came out this week, that may not be the worst thing. A report in the Washington Post suggests officials from China, Israel, Mexico, and the United Arab Emirates saw Kushner as exploitable and at one point hoped to manipulate him. Now, the most shocking thing about that is if somehow only four foreign governments <laughs> thought they could manipulate him. How is it not more than that? What nation looked at this man and thought, forget it, his mind is a fortress? <laughs> How did Bolivia, Laos or Germany not feel that this was a crackable nut? <laughs> Come on, France, Iceland, you didn't think it, it was even worth trying a little nudge-nudge on the old Kush ball? 